Hello, my friends. This is Lada from astrolada.com. And this is the last video of the 2024 marathon, astrology marathon with predictions about the world for 2024. And I left probably one of the most interesting videos with my favorite guests and you know, very much anticipated uh, Elena and Alejandro, who will read the vibrational uh revelations of 2024 hello elena hello alejandro <laughs> hello hi lara and hello everyone thank uh, you for having us yes yeah, so excited to be here and i'm that's, sure people... that's one of the most anticipated video people asking me when are elena and alejandro coming on because they said last year they were so spot on at the end of 2022 they did another uh vibrational reading and they said that 2023 We'll have rage in it, and you that's what we saw, <laughs> we're seeing, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm very curious to know what's coming <laughs> again, because it's always spot on. Can you tell us a little bit what vibrational revelations are, how you do the measurements for those of, of, of the viewers who don't know? Yes, happy to share. So Alejandro and I have been reading, gosh, it's been thousands and thousands of public figures and private vibrational frequency analysis for the last five years now, a little, probably a little more than that. Uh, every human being, every actually sentient being, everything in the universe, whether it's physical or non-physical, has a vibrational frequency signature. And we discovered a way using scalar wave technology to be able to tap into all of the things that we will be revealing today. So looking at a person through a lens of vibrational frequencies, and oftentimes people will say to us, well, don't our frequencies change? And yes, the answer is absolutely yes. But we look at over 36 different categories into each individual and today we will look into collectively how we are because we are truly one consciousness right one species even though we have these different ways and different personalities through which we experience our reality but there is a way to look at different aspects of how we experience for example personal growth relationship our health so many of the concepts that we will be presenting today even for you lada are some of the new concepts that we began to incorporate and also we look into people's lifetimes so what does it mean if you, i think we've done it with you right where yes. we look through your entire life through different frequencies to see where in your life you've had vibrational ups and downs and when you've had your down it is usually the greatest opportunity for the change to occur, we look into emotions, events, and situations that contribute to lowering your own vibrational frequency, but also encouraging you and empowering individuals of what you can do to recognize the power that those events held in order to shift, even in the place of where you are today. Yes, my reading was spot on the ear when for 10 years my vibration dropped so low and that was one of the hardest. There was a trauma that happened when I was at high school. And after that, the vibration it took me 10 years to restore it, <laughs> to start coming, digging myself out. of It was so spot. It was fascinating. And by the way, Elena and Alejandro, just once per year, offer a vibrational reading at a very affordable price. Okay, can you mention what it is? I'll put the link below in the description. Yes, it's a vibrational, it. yes, it's a vibrational frequency analysis PDF. So last year we began to offer PDFs to give an opportunity for people who wanted a more affordable price without having to speak to us. So this will be a PDF that they will receive with all of the numbers, emotions uh, that were imprinted from incarnation to birth, as well as we started measuring current activated emotions that hold the potential of where a person can shift so for that we will give you a code that you'll be able to share in the in the comments below and then people will be able to use that code to apply so there is a code uh, for anyone watching who would like this personal uh it's not it's basically a pdf because the personal is more expensive uh, and there is a code below, check in the description, plus Elena and Alejandro are offering only to the viewers of Astrolada with a special coupon, Astrolada111, uh, subscription to their, um, it's weekly videos they post for the whole year, one third of the price. And they cover 
all important figures that are right now in the public eye that you can see, you know, if someone is a shallow player, if someone's intentions are positive or no. So it demystifies a lot of the fake news and a lot of the mm, how people can present themselves for something else. So I absolutely, absolutely love this. And not only people, they check different therapies, different products, different institutions vibrationally. It is fascinating. It's a treasure trove of knowledge directly tapping into the quantum, seeing what the vibration is of truth, of lie, of, you know, <laughs> distraction or whatever. So it, it's, again, there is a link below for anyone interested to check this out. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, so let's begin. Let's begin. So before, actually, before we begin, we'll also share a link, uh, Lada, I think, in the comments so people can download the PDF of what all the numbers mean. Yes. And actually, yeah, in the last couple of years, as we navigate even our work, we always feel that there is relevance and it's important just like any science it's important as things evolve that our work evolves as well so our chart has definitely evolved i don't know if last year i think we probably had it at that point where we had the nesting dolls do you remember the nesting mm -hmm. dolls okay mm -hmm. perfect so we broke down the chart and the reason it's nesting dolls and it's not a straight line because our reality is not linear our experience is not linear and therefore everything is built built on awareness upon awareness, right? So the chart consists of four major categories, which is the victimization consciousness from zero to 199, 200 to 499 is activation consciousness, uh, 500 to 699 is inspiration consciousness, and 700 to 999 is illumination consciousness. And then the frequency of 1000, is the frequency of what we call the avatar, the divine light. And that divine light, that divine frequency of 1000 exists in each and every one of us, regardless of the frequency that we experience. And therefore, it's the smallest doll. It's the golden light. It's the highest vibrational frequency. And then in between, there's all these different frequencies. And we have 18 different levels. And Alejandro did this incredible discovery. who discovered something looking at all of the numbers that actually there is a link between 369 and the chart that we created. There's a whole video that we've done. It's public on YouTube. And also the link between a thousand frequency, what that means, and the number nine. So for those people who are interested to learn more about the secrets of 369, how it applies to this chart mathematically, all of it is posted for everyone to learn and explore. It was just a confirmation, I think, for us and the work we've been doing that universe gives us insights and communication through numbers. And therefore, whenever we see certain patterns unfolding and then mathematically it shows in such a perfection, we know that this is the right path, right? And therefore, you know, whenever there's a discovery, we share it publicly with people as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people can check a lot of your videos on YouTube. There are a lot of free videos. Holistic, yes, that's yes. The holistic. That's the uh, YouTube channel. Yes, yes, so people yes. can see that. The W at the beginning. Yes, Holistic Inc. Inc. Mm -hmm. Holistic Inc. Inc. Yes. Inc. Yes. Okay. So now, just to to give a refresher of what we've talked about 2023, which we did the video with you the last week of 2022, uh, looking into vibrationally where humanity is going to be collectively. And we ended up landing it in this overall frequency of 150. So absolutely. And I'm sure people can go back and watch that video that we've done with you a year ago at this time. And this 150 frequency is the frequency of rage and also, it's part of it is disappointment, right? Mm -hmm. Disappointment and anger. And we're seeing this collectively happening. So mm -hmm. it's also showing to us that there's a lot of work that is still here to be done collectively until we all wake up and do the individual work to raise our own vibrational frequency in order to uplift the rest of the humanity so we can rise because the young children that are being born right now we've talked about it in the past they are definitely a much higher vibrational frequency than we've seen on this planet for thousands of years mm -hmm. and it is the work that has to be done by 
our generations, right? And, and seeing what are some of these limiting beliefs that are still showing up in our life today. And I think 2023 has been a year of looking into our own limitations and triggers because they are our opportunities and the greatest gifts that can help shift us into the world that we all want to see, right? The, the world of peace and love. So 150 was the frequency. It is the frequency of 2023. So now we'll go into the frequencies of 2024. <clears throat> and we'll break it up into, first we'll talk about frequencies, then we'll talk about uh, percentages. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there's two different type categories. And the last aspect is going to be emotions, current activated emotions for 2024 that we will all be facing, which is something we've never done with you a lot of before. Wow, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And just to address what you mentioned earlier about the frequency uh, fluctuating, right? It fluctuates throughout the day, but what we measure is the predominant frequency. We'll say that, and for that <laughs> takes practice, right? To make it uh, a predominant emotion. And that's what, that is what dictates the level of consciousness that mm -hmm. the person is experiencing, right? So throughout the day, you can experience anger, all sorts of emotions. But we measure the predominant emotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I understand. All right. So I think we can go overall frequency. I'll, I'll reveal the overall frequency for 2024, and then we'll go month by month as well before I give you the rest of the numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So overall, 2024, the vibrational frequency will be 175, which is the frequency again of arrogance. Okay. It it's it stems from a sense of superiority from a place of insecurity. And we'll talk about why it's insecurity because we look at the different types of ego, inferior and superior ego. So in this case, collectively, it is from a place of insecurity, the place of, right, the 175. And so, that comes from uncertainty as well, right? Especially everything that we have gone through in the past uh, two, three years. Mm -hmm. But it's still, it's an upgrade from 150. It's an upgrade. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a couple of numbers that we'll talk about. There's going to be a downward uh, turn for some of the things in the collective, but overall, it's going to be a, a little bump up. So let's go month by month. So January is 150. Again, this uh, frequency of anger is still very much present, the resentment frequency. Mm -hmm. February is 150. March is 165. So until the frequency hits 175, it's still the same frequency okay. emotion. Okay, so 165 is still anger or resentment. April is 170. Again, we're still holding on to that. May is 175. So there is a shift in May. June is 175. July is 175. And in August, we have a little down again to 150. The resentment and anger. September, October is 175. November is 185. So that means it's still arrogance. Mm -hmm. And December is 185. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, flat line, then it goes up a little bit, then it goes down a little bit. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'm curious after we give you all the numbers, we reveal them astrologically, what shows up. So let's just reveal this and then maybe you can also share with us what mm -hmm. you have discovered mm -hmm. yeah okay so the next category we're looking at collectively for 2024 is health so again we're not looking at how healthy we're collectively but how do we perceive what filter do we apply collectively to perceive health <clears throat> and overall it's a frequency of 150 150 again is resentment which is rooted in anger last year so again this year 2023 it was a frequency of 125 so 125 after we'll say after covid right people started to look into how can i get healthier how can i feel better and in 2024 it's going to go up to okay i'm mad about what i'm finding uh -huh. <laughs> uncertainty mixed with frustration and oh. in, right so that yes. triggers Yes. A different and we're seeing these things being revealed now. So all the things from a healthcare perspective of things that people have, some, some communities have talked about, some medical providers have talked about the dangers. Now we're seeing the data showing actually mm -hmm. 
in major publications of some of the things that have happened over the last couple of years. So no wonder people are going to be more triggered, more upset. Mm -hmm. But the, the frequency of 150 is uh, serves as a catalyst. You know, it, it usually catapults or propels uh, the person to experience or wanting to to experience a greater feeling of so whatever the feeling is that they the experience, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that anger comes from there's enough pain and, and enough uh, discomfort that, that it is like, okay, I've had enough. What, what's next? Or what, what is it that I can do? So it really uh, serves for most people that we've done uh, quite a few lifetime uh, frequency analysis. And we could see that very clearly as, as a, a very uh, uh, visible pattern that the 150 served them as a as Catalyst of change. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, much, it's a high yeah. vibration to be angry than to be desperate or scared. So obviously, exactly. you yeah, because then you're 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 kind of forcing yourself in a way, or you're stepping in to confronting or seeing things for what they really are. Right. Take action. Take action. Mm -hmm. So we did bring a new category under health because we felt it's very important to see. Uh, connection to mind, connection to body, and connection to soul. I'm not sure if we did it last time we spoke, but this is what it is. So connection to mind is 150, okay? Connection to body is 125. So physically, there is this desire, right? Unfulfilled desire to want to understand. And connection to soul is 200. So it also shows you that collectively, we're much more connected to our soul than we're connected to our mind and to our physical body. So there is this divine force that is navigating our reality. And mm -hmm. it's all about how much do you pay attention to that. Oh, that's beautiful to hear. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Finances. So finances, how do we, or what emotion gets triggered? to things related to finances. And here's a, a, a very interesting change. And I don't know from astrology if that's impacted, but 2023 this year, the finances were at 150, which is this resentment and anger. 2024, it goes down to 100. There's going to be fear. So for me, the question mark is, and we talked about this uh, as well, does it mean that financially there's going to be a downturn? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So from an astrological perspective, it could be. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you can exactly uh, there is something that's happening in 2024 it's uh, pluto is entering aquarius then last time pluto changed signs was 2008 when there was an actual event the big crisis in 2008 and mm -hmm. then pluto in 2023 dipped just for a month or two into aquarius very quickly but we had four major banks collapse but they kept the situation so people didn't fall into fear. But now it's entering full time. So wow. we as astrologers are expecting that there might be like a chain reaction with banks and the financial system in some way. So so uh, it, obviously the vibrational reading shows that it's not just that there's possibly an event connected to that. Yes. So it's a big wow. drop. So that's to, to go to. It's fear. telling you. It's, yes. it's not just in, in the news. It's something's going to happen. Oh, so. wow. And the situation with the bonds that you just mentioned is linked uh, to to the issues that, that China is having with America yeah, because China owns a lot of uh, bonds and, and, and mm -hmm. treasuries and so forth in, in, in the American United States, in the United States, you know? Mm -hmm. And it is a huge uh, mm -hmm. piece of, of the financial... Uh, foundation, I will say, in a way that if that is if that is pulled out of it, out of the equation, it, it, it could really cause a a, a, a huge systemic uh, oh, down collapse, fold, yeah. collapse. Yes, but it will be interesting because somebody said to us when we revealed this in our community, it would be interesting to do, which we haven't done for today, the financial frequency every month of next year mm -hmm. to see when it would happen so we haven't done it yet but we're thinking about doing that because that will be an interesting um yeah. insight 
into potentially when uh, now that you know i mean people have to be smart i think at this time with their financial situation period so for, for the vibration to reach 100 wasn't that the vibration collectively when COVID was around fear so yes yes it cannot happen yes. without an actual event probably to, it to wouldn't drop like, like this so it means there's something that is in, that is going to influence the collective response because it's collectively we're responding to something that is making us process it in this way. So it it seems that from a frequency perspective, there will be a situation that will be happening that will be impacting the human collective response to the financial situation globally. So this is global. It's not just United States you know there's gonna that's be... what i that's what i see too i don't want to fear monger but there is yeah there's that's something there possible. okay yes now creatively so we've always as a as a species have been extremely creative because our frequency for 2024 is 500 oh. so it also shows that we have the ability to flow and to trust the creative process that exists that is part of this divine gift that we were born with incarnated with we are divine creators so we have to be careful what we choose to create and 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 how we apply it right it's always we our think, highest vibration the creativity <laughs> yes we always have two points that are high and that and personal growth those are always the two and then everything else in between is it's, it's sort of like we forgot who we are and we play out of out of the realms of these higher vibrational frequencies out of the fear and also the disconnect from who we truly are, right? From giving our power away to other people and thinking that our reality is really dictated by an outside source when it all comes from within. So this mm. creativity frequency is a great reminder that we all have it okay. within us to create a beautiful world. Yeah. That that's the frequency I want high creativity and personal growth because if you want to grow personally there is always place for improvement so I'm very happy with that exactly yes okay relationships so overall relationships are a frequency of 200 relationship to self is 200 so what's 200 it's a frequency of heroism we always talk about the 200 is the frequency which is the bridge between victimization consciousness and activation consciousness. And believe it or not, you know, we've done so many readings that frequency of 200 is such an, a monumental, instrumental shift in a person's life. And people oftentimes downplay this frequency thinking it's not high enough. But, you know, to go from frequency of 50 or 100, it takes a lot of courage to recognize and step into your sovereignty. So the frequency of 200, which is heroism, is all about your own claiming your own sovereignty. Mm -hmm. To begin to claim your own sovereignty. Yes. yes. Now, relationship to others, yeah, for 2024 is 150. So this 150 frequency in, in relationship to others also shows us that there is this element, again, of resentment and anger towards other people and this is actually what we are seeing this year 2023 is the beginning stages of this right the humanity have been walking through this or threading through these heavy waters since the beginning of covid you saw the separation in different belief systems and it's them versus us and now we're seeing it even further divided with this anger and rage so something obviously is not working and this is an opportunity for people to begin to again i said look inside this year 2023 relationship to others was 125 so there was a desire coming out of covid uh desire to to relate to others, seek for relationships because people were locked down for, for so long. There was this desperate need of connection. And now that there is, you could say the freedom is given, what do you do with that freedom? How do you connect to other people? How do you relate? And unfortunately for 2024, it is the anger that is gonna be the predominant way of relating to others. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Personal growth, as I said, that's the second one. That is the highest. It's a frequency of illumination, 700. Wow. So it also shows you that through this deep connection to, to our soul, which is a 200, right? The creative essence that exists in each and every one of us and the guiding light that guides humanity collectively, it, it's opening people up, I think, to explore personal growth. And I don't know if you are seeing this, but I'm seeing that more and more people that you would never think would be open to personal growth are now sharing, you know, that they're meditating or they're reading certain books and taking certain classes. And it is this divine uh, GPS mm -hmm. that is part of our growth process collectively. So the 700 illumination is there. And I think it, it is what will be guiding many people to wake up yeah. from, from the deep sleep. Yeah, it has become a trend also. Right? Mm -hmm. You see it everywhere. Oh, yeah. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah. Like more and more people are speaking about vibrational frequencies, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, this is so interesting. People talk about it. They don't necessarily know how to measure it. But this conversation is taking place, which is truly remarkable. It's mm -hmm. in its enlightenment a vibration of 700. Mm -hmm. so it's worth an enlightenment, almost like a saint level with, with the attempts to self-improve. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's what saves humanity. <laughs> Nothing else. Exactly. And the yes. <laughs> yes. And you know what I thought was also interesting? Because there was this conversation, which I want to go back to during COVID, that, you know, there's groups of people who got you know the job that they're disconnected from their soul we're not seeing that actually mm -hmm. at all oh, that's great and this is why i think it's important to bring this conversation to the forefront connection to the soul if that was the case would never be 200 mm -hmm. it would be much lower and we have seen it in some people where there is a frequency of connection to the soul is 30 or 50 there's a much deeper root of things that are going on but collectively Right, wow. we are we are we're at the threshold at the threshold of positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's well, great to hear. Yeah. Two things. Mm -hmm. We don't want to confuse anyone. You know, the the connection to soul is is uh, innate, right? It's it's our nature, and nothing can disconnect you from it. Mm -hmm. You cease. You, I I wouldn't even say that you cease to exist, but because that's like happening. You where are will always be the same, right? Mm -hmm. So. Are infinite. The zero point field exists within each and every one of us. That's the uh, the little tiny doll that Elena was referring to earlier about the one thousand frequency. But and and then there is the perception of how we um, or what is the inner dialogue that takes place when it comes to each of the categories or, or subjects that Elena was bringing up. Right. So if someone has the frequency of uh, one hundred and the connection to soul. It doesn't mean they're more or less connected. It's just the, the sense of the connection, the perception, how they perceive that connection is what uh, uh, changes, right? And how do how do they express it from that from that point as well? I yes. yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Now philanthropy. Philanthropy for 2024, which is the art of sharing and giving. So collectively, philanthropy is 175, which is, again, this place of arrogance. But it comes from the superiority for insecurity, right? So we share because we want to share. And it's still this relationship of I'm not good enough, but I want to be liked, right? Um, service to self is 200. So this is a new category, which is under philanthropy and service to others is 175. So there is a shift because last year, service to others was 125. So it means that we are raising our frequencies and becoming more aware with, I would say with more self-awareness towards the realization that it is important to share. It's important to give, it's important to connect. To have a community as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Intuition overall is the frequency of 200. So how we are collectively in 2024 is 200. 
Now, there's four aspects of intuition that we measure is clear audience, which is the ability to hear, right? To hear, not necessarily your, your own voice, but to hear the unheard things. Mm -hmm. And it's clear audience is 175. Clear sentience is, is the ability to feel, right? And how do you perceive what you feel collectively? It's 200. Clairvoyance, the the visionary that exists with all, all of us, right? The ability to intuit and visualize things, and that's 250. And clear cognizance, the ability to know is 200. So overall, these numbers are very similar to where we were in 2023. Now, the, under the intelligence aspect, did we do IQ last year? I don't remember. Yeah, but, okay. I think okay, okay. So IQ stayed the same is it's the IQ has to do with intellect and the ability to perceive the known information. It's 175. That's the same. EQ, emotional quotient. I don't know if we did it last year. Yeah, no. You, we, no? no, maybe we didn't. Okay, the EQ is 150. Right oh, yeah. Okay. So emotionally, this year, 2023, we were at fear connecting to each other through worry and fear. Next year is going to be anger. Mm -hmm. emotionally so there's going to be charge that's going to be held but it's elevating right sq social quotient has gone up as i said after covid we came out you know collectively seeking for relationships 125 next year social quotient will be 150 so there's going to be more anger okay more resentment uh that's going to be brewing uh, when you when people gather together because social quotient has to do with social gatherings mm. so it's going to be also important to be able to understand that in order to manage your own energy and where you want to share your energy and with whom is mm -hmm. going to be very, very important yes <laughs> no. yes to you. know that people will be in a combative state of mind don't they yes <laughs> Exactly, yes exactly exactly attack 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 that's going to be the theme of social gatherings from a frequency of 150. And this is extremely helpful because you know what to expect anyway you don't know the exact details of how that information is going to be brought to your field of perception but at least uh generically speaking you know what emotions are being uh, activated the most and therefore it's just about paying attention and, and mm -hmm. you can figure things out very quickly, you know, having this as, as the basis of all mm -hmm. the frequencies. You know? Now, the next one is adversity quotient. So what happens when we're being triggered? What is our innate response to trigger? So this year is 150, which is anger, attack, <laughs> right? In 2024, next year, it's going to be 175, which is part of this arrogance or superiority coming from insecurity so it's going to be putting up a facade for many people that i know it i know this information but what's really behind the facade and mm -hmm. that's very important i think mirror for all of us to look mm -hmm. within deep within so you did what exactly we did all the frequencies. All the frequencies. <laughs> Great. I was in another galaxy. <laughs> uh, no, so there, yes. is, there is improvement, though. That's what I <laughs> the frequency. Yes, mm. I think so. Yeah, Except definitely. For the money. <laughs> yes. yes. Some say that it takes many, many years to shift only 10 points, per se, in frequency, right? And we have... Uh, proven that to be wrong, actually, uh, based on the lifetime frequencies that we've done, that um, is, is totally different. But in this case, comparing 2023 and 2024, and in, in speaking and in, in viewing it collectively, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, there's two points here and there mean a lot. It means that you're we're moving towards uh, the right direction, and we have to remain. Uh, optimistic about it right because that's the best way uh, yeah. to influence influence the the field yes mm -hmm. now we're going to percentages because you could be experiencing all sorts of emotions you know, we decided 
well, the best way to measure it was with percentages from 100 to up to one, one, one percent up to 100 percent. Now we go in, in the joy. This is how much the person, or in this case, collectively, uh, they are enjoying the role that they're playing in this reality. It is 62 percent. So that means that they're not having that much fun, <laughs> right? Because yeah. <laughs> The uncertainty mixed with frustration and worry. Uh, Struggle. And, and uh, it, it's just too much resistance to be able to, to truly enjoy it. We can put up a facade that things are going well, so everyone thinks that we have it handled, right? And figured it all out. But that's not, that's not the reality for most, you know? And it's okay. It's part of the, uh, the process. Now, in it's the like, the, you know, I have to interrupt. It's like the diamond in the rough, right? To really see the beautiful diamond, it takes a lot of work. So we're all, you could say we're roses that are about to blossom. So we're just waiting for that blossom to happen. <laughs> <laughs> to 2045, was it? Yes. The big shift. So big shift, 25 to, and then 46. Yes, 45, 46. That's right. <laughs> yes. Now, in the ego, how much um, collectively we're, we're relying on the information that the, the known, right? The information that has been proven to be right or wrong. And it's 98%. And within the ego, we have two types of ego, or two types of information, two types of thoughts. And it's the inferior version of the ego and the superior version of the ego. The inferior, in this case, is 100% out of the 98%. So which is uh, due to uncertainty, the frustration, the worry, uh, then you, one tends to attach even more to, to the known territory, right? That which has been proven to work or not work. So in this case, at 100% makes it makes total sense, right? I, I've noticed many times when you do readings, vibrational readings for people, humans, individuals, very mm. rarely someone acts from a superior ego. It's almost always inferior. So it's like much more common for humans to feel inferior than superior. Yes, exactly. Great point. Yes, that's usually the case. We see the superior ego more often, actually, in most cases, in what we call the shadow players or the great awakeners that tend to be the lower frequencies and operating from the superior ego. So that's usually the theme in the vibrational frequencies, uh -huh. revelations that we have seen. Yes. Kind of psychopaths. <laughs> you say that? <laughs> or psycho with no path. <laughs> well, they have a path and they think they're very clear. Um, and it, it, I think it's interesting, you know, and I do begin to question, are they really... You know, is it really a psychopath? Because if they're born a certain way mm -hmm. and this is how they're expressing it, is it clinical, right? Or or is somebody that has these tendencies maybe because of the trauma they've experienced as a child and they drop into the lower frequencies, this is where the sociopathic tendencies tend to express themselves. So I, I have a feeling that people who were incarnated at very low frequency live that frequency, breathe it, they're just in, have no resistance. They're in their clarity mm. versus ones that have experienced traumatic mm. things. Right. It's more than a feeling. It's annoying. It's annoying. Uh, due to, you know, the evidence that we, that we hold. And I will say that the difference is because someone that incarnated at 50 was born at 50 and vibrates at 50 and has 50 throughout the chart. Uh, the, the resistance that they're experiencing, you know, from one up to 1,000, between one and 1,000, it, it doesn't feel the same as, uh, as the resistance that, that you would experience or how you would experience it mm -hmm. or how I would experience it, you know? For us, the resistance between, let's say, if you're vibrating at 200 and the, between 200 and 1,000 for us is, is painful. More, it's mm -hmm. heavier because we're trying to get there <laughs> yes. that's right for them they're they're swimming in their waters that that is their element that is the norm it's an extension of them you know yeah. uh, they didn't come here to aim for the 1000 they just actually came here to perfect that that lower lower vibration of frequency <laughs> yeah. yeah right wow. so they are, most of them i would say if not all of them 
are masters. Yes. And that's why when you see a great awakener that we call the, we used to call them shadow players, they're way great awakeners. They are masters because they own it fully, they embody it fully, and it's an extension of them. So mm -hmm. they're not impacted by, by the resistance that we are experiencing. Yeah. And, and therefore they can, their masters are manipulating energies and, and, and reality, you know? Mm -hmm. And they usually enjoy it a lot. It always shows like oh, yeah. yes. I totally love the process. My brain. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And usually that all at all all the time, most of the time, they are fully aligned with their uh, divine purpose. Purpose. So they're created like that. They come like that. We shouldn't hate them. They they're playing the role they're here to do. They're yes, by God, they play very well. Yes, and they are they are they are contributing to the contrast that we as humans need in order to wake up to have this human experience in order to grow in order to to create the opposite if we're not that's why you call them the great the awakeners because yes. they kind of sacrifice yes. their own soul evolution so others can be triggered by okay let's see <laughs> uh -huh. yes great point now in the now as of how much collectively collectively we are experiencing this reality in the present moment per se right and it's 57 percent and usually this indicates that you are or the person is thinking about the past in this case will be past experiences that trigger resistance right they're not unpleasant ones and and all they're projecting themselves trying to figure out what's next what's coming next year yeah and, or because they're, they're <laughs> still remind, reminding themselves of the of the past unpleasant experiences, trying to figure out the future. Then the future that they're trying to figure out is going to be very similar to the past. They're still <laughs> with, right? Yeah. So that creates obviously uh, more resistance. Now self awareness is fifty eight percent. Is how self-aware the person is about, you know, I would say the flow of consciousness and and uh, how they perceive it, uh, the outer world and the inner world. So collectively, we're not going to be that perceptive. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we're functioning more uh, on autopilot mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. based on, the, on our programming, right? Mm -hmm. Clarity, how clear... Uh, we are collectively about the path we're on and where we're headed is 83%. So there's, I would say clarity is, is better when it best when it approaches the 100% mark, uh, at least uh, above 90%. 83 is okay, there's some clarity. Now, the clarity with this frequency is more towards resistance than them flow, you know? They feel clear they're resisting. <laughs> we feel exactly. clear. We're clearly resisting. <laughs> clear resisting. Very Absolutely. clear about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Now, integrity, how loyal and faithful uh, we are collectively, right? To our truth. And it doesn't have to be your truth, my truth, or her truth, is 80%. Out of 100%. Yes. Now, integrity to self is 85%. As of how is it that they apply that which they believe is true to themselves, right? And they follow it. And integrity to others or with others, as of how they share their truth, is 75%. Mm -hmm. So there's a little uh, lower in the authenticity in, uh, side of it, end of it, right? Mm -hmm. oh, maybe people are afraid to speak the truth that afraid. Is, so this is. is learning to practice okay. being yeah. sovereign not only to yourself because the integrity to self is also love so yeah. this is you know being people pleasers are you a people pleaser that's an important mirror to to shine at yourself and also this goes back to um the sq social quotient you know if you are a people pleaser this is just one example right and you said yes too many times, you don't have boundaries, then you're going to expose yourself or put yourself in situations that are not necessarily good for you. Mm -hmm. And this is where you can encounter things that are 
difficult to to be around so again the more integrity you practice towards yourself then the more integrity you will also have towards other people that's beautiful lesson <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm, yes so aligning with divine purpose is 93 percent so we're on a, on a, our path moving forward but you know it's interesting because now, this year it was higher now we have definitely dropped dropped right in comparison to 2023 so we, we're still in the 90s we still have a feeling, a sense behind the curtains that we are, we are following our inner guidance. You know that this is a, a a must to be experienced in order to to grow, in order to expand. And now, because of the because because of the lack of authenticity, the alignment with divine purpose has been impacted, and and you can see that in the in the joy at sixty two percent also that impacts your alignment. Yes, because we, all of us, however it is we want to define it, we came here to experience, you know, joy, expansion, and freedom. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they're interconnected, entangled. So if the joy is shown that the joy is low, that is going to impact. Oh, I would say the less freer you feel, the less joy mm -hmm. you're going to experience, right? Yeah. And that is going to impact your your expansion, your growth, right? Yeah. It's going to slow it down. Now, aligning with personal purpose is 94%. Mm. Mm. Last year was 95%. So we're almost, almost the same. It dropped 1%. Yeah. Now, compassion is 95%. Compassion to others or with others is 91%. That dropped... So it means our we're going to be a little less tolerant next year, uh -huh. collectively. Which it could be a byproduct of, of the disappointment and the arrogance, anger. the anger, the frustration, right? For now, as we go into these waters. And, and now add it to the uh, worry and finances. Oh, yeah. yeah. That could be that impacting it also, as well. Yeah. Empathy is 95%. So as humans or humanity is, is Highly empathic by nature, right? Yeah. Energy purity. This is an indicator of how much we're embodying the current level of consciousness that we're experiencing collectively or that we're going to be experiencing collectively in 2024 is 95%. Hmm. And that once... As in 2023, we were embodying the 150 level of consciousness to the fullest. Our energy purity was at 100%. Mm -hmm. And that, when you hit the 100% mark, that indicates that you're ready most of the time, if not all the time, that you're ready to, to experience the next level, right? Unless you're a great awakener, shadow player, oftentimes they embody at 100% of their frequency, but they're not shifting. That's and just what Yes, exactly. Yeah. They're just uh, mastering it even more. <clears throat> now, in this case, a 95%. So we're on since way. based on the numbers in 2024. Uh, since in, in November and December as well, we're going to be at 185. So that's probably more than likely when we are going to experience the energy purity at 100%. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Or at least very a lot closer. Moving. Now, dimensions. We measure the how much time we're experiencing collectively the fifth dimension. And in this case, it's 21%, which is somewhat exactly the same as it was, or as it is this year, this year, 2023. It will be the same. Right? And how much time we, we experience the fifth dimension also includes the doing dream state, of course, right? The, which is um. extremely important for soul healing. Yes. Yeah. Now the current activated emotions, as Selena mentioned earlier. So these are, people have to write them down. <laughs> That's very important because we're all gonna face these at some point next yes, year. Yes, it'll be very important to write this down. That way you have it uh, in front of you as a, and use it as a point, point of reference. 
and just pay attention to the emotions that are being activated within that are noticeable, right? That you tend to bathe in and entertain the most because that's what is going to trigger the filters that they, they're going to impact your perception and they're going to shift or change your reality, yes? So the emotions are brief, uh, grief, worry, guilt, panic, shame, anger, envious, dependent, and rage. Oh. So oh. These emotions are gonna be brewing and, and obviously- 2024. <laughs> creating like emotional, emotional atomic bomb. <laughs> but you know i think the key with these is maybe not all of them will be activated for you but if they are you know this is a wonderful way to go into the new year is to reevaluate if any of it is coming up to the surface today for you because for many people yes and just know that this is information right what we're sharing is information ego is information emotions are information Right? Emotions, energy, emotion, they say. And, and this emotions exists within your etheric library. I mean, you walk and you're in this is following you per se, like an imaginary cloud, right? Filled with information that is connected to this main source, the universal mind that carries all that is. So it is on us to decide. We have a choice. That's why we were given free will to decide what information we want to entertain the most. You know, what file I want to pull out of that or book out of my etheric library. And I want to sit down and read and bathe in it and connect with it and feel it and embody it and incorporate it in, 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 in your reality, right? So paying attention is, is to know, in this case, uh, what emotions are being triggered that you're, that you're experiencing so then you can create an affirmation to obliterate this resistance, to obliterate uh, these negative emo so-called negative emotions. Yes. Can you give me one example, that, uh, for example, with the feeling of uh, uh, fear? What would be the Is, opposite? You can say, I am, I am peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's no, I am I am balanced. Yeah. I trust the path I'm on. Trust because yeah. we have fear when we there's lack of trust. Exactly. So it's important yes. to begin to incorporate that trust and knowing that collectively we are guided mm -hmm. and we have this innate ability to connect. And we are, as Alejandro said, are always connected. There is nothing that can disconnect us. It's just our, where we choose to bring our attention to and also remembering that it's not anything outside of ourselves that is really impacting you. You are the one that is in charge of your life. And therefore using the things that we, we shared with everyone today should empower you and perhaps give you abilities to where you can change your perception and how you interact with different people in your life and different aspects that are within yourselves as well yes we are not connected via wi-fi <laughs> our connection does not rely on electricity yes <laughs> you know or, or service providers it's, it, it just happens now we have to remind ourselves that i am because when you create your affirmation, it begins with I am. I am vibrates at the frequency of 1,000. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So there's no resistance within it, in it. And therefore, anything that you place after it, in this case, uh, let's say peace, okay. I am peace, it, 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 it turns it into a very powerful affirmation. And it is the, the practice that enhances the belief and, and the belief will increase your knowing, right? Mm -hmm. That comes from the experience. So at the beginning, uh, by the way, we suggest to do it for 67 days. 
and you can continue on doing this for as long as you want. But at the beginning, when you begin to say, I am peace, you, you, you're going to have doubt and you're going to feel the dissonance, you know, the misalignment. Um, no, not really. You know, you keep doing it in that gap between fear and I am peace shrinks as you, as you practice it. And eventually, there's no more doubt. Eventually, you question it, but there's no you're you're not activating resistance within, and that's, and that's yeah. That's very creative process as well. And as you said, we're most powerful with creativity and self improvement. So the soul of visualization and seeing it's a, almost a creative self improvement process, and this way people tap into the two highest vibrations, creativity that we collectively have. And won't it be easy? So basically, people feel down and low. Also, to turn to such activities, creativity and self improvement, because it's collectively so high vibration. There won't be resistance. Exactly. That's great that you bring this up. And it comes to mind what people often say that God doesn't give you anything that you cannot, or more than you can handle, right? <laughs> and we, we can say that. Because of how we view creativity and personal growth, we we are well equipped to handle whatever it is that comes our way. Mm -hmm. And because we are connected 24-7 without wanting or not wanting to be connected, <laughs> right? we have access to all that is and, and, uh, and we can there, therefore tap in or tune in to uh, draw whatever information or, or solutions that we need in order to to change our reality and, and improve our reality, right? Reality money, reality creation, basically. Yes, exactly. Well, and on this very positive note, thank you so much, Elena. Thank you so much, Alejandro. Uh, okay. Friends and family, almost you feel like to me. <clears throat> Thank you for it. It was a spirituality lecture as, as well, a philosophy lecture. <laughs> Again, <laughs> anyone would like to contact Elena and Alejandro, look at their work. Holistic.inc is their YouTube. Links below with a coupon just for the Astrolada viewers. Uh, they have hundreds, if not thousands, of videos now on this subscription for only $111 for the whole year, down from $333. Uh, with this coupon for viewers, you can watch. And if you're part of the community, you can say, I want to see the vibrational uh, revelations about this famous teacher or about this YouTuber or about uh, this kind of medical procedure. But I'm sure you'd find almost anything. They've already recorded it, but they yes. we can carry on because there are new players coming on stage and new kind of inventions <laughs> all the time. So if you want to be tuned in to the vibrations or even have a personal reading again uh, links below in the description thank you so much again elena and alejandro oh, thank you. Be thank blessed. You. and yeah looking forward to the year yes, <laughs> yes. Happy, merry christmas and happy new year to oh. all to you to your family to all of your listeners as well beautiful thank you thank, thank you for joining us <laughs>